Okay. Now I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about that for one to two minutes. You will have one minute to prepare. Do you understand? Yes. Here is a pencil and a paper for writing notes. And here is your topic. Please do not write anything on the topic paper. I'd like you to talk about eating and food. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this. So don't worry if I stopped you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Well, the last special occasion when I had a really enjoyable meal was actually last lunar, uh, last Chinese Lunar New Year, and all my family members from my father's side has came to this. Meal uh, to have dinner with my grandfather, and we are have an uh, we had an enjoyable meal because we shared uh, a great meal together with uh, steamed fish, um, Indian curry, chicken with soy sauce, and as my grandfather is uh, is a farmer in Hong Kong, so he grows uh, a different all kinds of vegetables like choy sam, bok choy, and lettuce. So we had a quite a full meal um, that day, and that meal was so enjoyable because um, all my family members, like uh, 30, 40 of them, came to my grandpa's home and have dinner together. So you can imagine the um, crowdedness and the happiness we sh all shared together. And most importantly, of course, is that we uh, gave each other pres uh, give each other gifts. Uh, in Chinese Lunar New Year after the dinner and we had a long chat with uh, my cousins and my father enjoyed uh, drinking wines with um, uh, his, uh, his siblings. So we all enjoy ourselves in the last uh, Chinese Lunar New Year meal. Would you like to eat that meal again? Well, of course, I would like to eat, uh, have that meal again. Um, maybe next Chinese Lunar New Year because uh, in every occasion where all my family members gather together is really a truly um, memorable um, experience and that we, um, as my grandfather is like 90 years old, I really doubt that we can have many of those again. So I really treasure each and every occasion. Thank you. Can I take the pencil and paper back, please? We've been talking about a special occasion when you had a really enjoyable meal. I now like to discuss with you one or two more general questions relating to this topic. First, let's consider learning about food. Do you think children should be taught about healthy diets and cooking at school? Well, I believe that it is important for children to learn about uh, diets and how to cook food in school. Um, well, as a matter of fact, in Hong Kong, in secondary school, we have a, uh, a set of courses called Home Economics, which includes uh, culinary science in it. And um, although I only took a year from it, but I really learned a lot from it. Um, it, uh, it gives me, it provides me with uh, cooking skills so that I don't need to have instant noodles every time I cook at home. I can cook some simple dishes like um, tomato with eggs and uh, maybe fried uh, beef with um, some cucumbers. Yeah, and also um, knowing about diet is also important for children because um, nowadays uh, maybe some children are morbidly obese. It is important for them to know uh, how to have a good diet, to have balanced um, health, and more importantly, to be to stay fit. So now let's move on to food aid. Should rich countries help poor countries with more than just food? Well, I believe that rich countries should help uh, poor countries, um, not just food, but also other supports. Food is um, a kind of basic need for humans. It, it is vital, no doubt, 
But if we only、uh, give food to the poor people, they will never get out of the poverty. So what we need to do,、uh, what we also need to do, is to give them education and opportunities to sell their products, so that they could earn money themselves instead of just being fed on. So, and besides education, I think that.、Um, To give them a fair trade is also important, as、uh, rich countries always dominate the resource in the poor country, and gives them no room to develop. So、um, it is important for them, for for the poor countries, to have their own resource and to sell it to others. Do you think your town is doing enough to educate the other poor countries? Well, in my town, I think that there are.、Um, A lot of、um, people、uh, who are who, who are willing to、um, volunteer to go to poor countries like Nepal to help、uh, the people there to learn、um, uh, to have to receive education to eliminate literacy、uh, to eliminate、um, literacy and、uh, most importantly、um, the people in our town. Mainly go back to mainland China and to help those people in who live in the countryside, far away from cities, to receive education.、Um, yeah.